How's it going everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a REST API using Node.js and Express. Uh, so we're gonna build an API that contains some get APIs and post APIs. Uh, we're gonna do that using Docker in this video. Uh, so here I am in Visual Studio Code. This is just a brand new empty project. Uh, so I just brought up terminal here by going to terminal, new terminal. And down here, we're just gonna initialize an empty uh, node project. I'm gonna go npm init and just basically press enter all the way through this just so we can build an empty package. Um, and that's good. Now we can see here on the left, we see a package.json. I'm gonna click on this guy. Let me just minimize my terminal here. Um, so we're gonna define some targets for our Docker container um, that'll execute on startup. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the test target here and I'm gonna add a start target. And whenever the start target is invoked using node, we're just gonna say uh, node uh, index.js. So if someone uses the start target, it'll run uh, the index.js file. Um, the obvious next question is where's that? So we need to create an index.js file. Uh, so let's do that. And that's just gonna be an empty file here. So the next thing that we need to do is install some dependencies. So go back down to your terminal and let's type in npm install or npm i for short. And we're gonna say um, express dash dash save. And what that is gonna do is download all the dependencies and it's gonna add a dependency here to our dependency section of our package.json file. Uh, so now we have everything that we need to build the API. So let's go over to the index.js and actually start writing the code to do that. All right, so at this point we need to first import some dependencies. So I actually have this copied over here. Uh, so let me just grab everything. Uh, so what we're doing over here is we're just uh, requiring the express module. We're getting a reference to the express uh, instance and we're setting the port that we're gonna work with. In this example, it's gonna be on port 3000, but you can use any open port that you have on your machine. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is start the server up so that it starts listening for traffic. So what's happening here is that we're calling the app.listen and we're providing the port and a callback function. And we're gonna say here, upon success of the server starting up, then we're just gonna console log a message and let's just close that out down here. Um, so now at this point, we can actually define a get API. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I have that copied as well. Grab that and this goes here. And so what's going on here? So we're saying, um, we're gonna say app.get, so we wanna get method. If you want post, you do dot post or put um, or delete or whatever you want. And we want um, it to be mapped to the slash foo path. So when we call this endpoint, it's gonna be whatever the base URL is and then the slash foo. And then um, we get a request and we're gonna provide a response and we're just gonna set the response to hello YouTube. Uh, so it's a very, very simple um, get API here. So let's start this by going down to the terminal and say node index.js. And we can see here now at the bottom example app listening on uh, port 3000 on localhost. So if we go to this, this should error out. Um, let me bring the window in. What was it? HTTP uh, localhost and it's port 3000, right? 3000. You know, so there's no mapping for just the, the slash endpoint. So in order to get this working and actually hit the endpoint that we created, just need to put foo in there. So there we go. We get uh, hello YouTube by providing slash foo. And I'll actually show you how to do this using Postman, which is a tool that's useful as well if you'd like to simulate uh, any HTTP requests. So we can do the same thing. We can just say um, localhost 3000 and then slash foo. And we've got some autocomplete here, that's great. And hello YouTube is the response. So that's working perfectly. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead now and just kind of update this a little bit. So say we wanna like just sending back an empty response as a placeholder isn't very helpful. Um, so first let me kill that actually. Uh, so let's actually send some JSON back. So say for instance, if you query a database or something, you'd wanna send a JSON payload back. So let's just delete that line and we're gonna say res.json and then you can just pass in a JSON object here. So like foo and bar for instance. And now if we save that and go back down to the bottom and type node index.js again, and go back to Postman, what do we get back instead? We get a pretty little JSON file here. Okay, cool, so that's how you set up a get API. So let's do the same thing for posts now. So post is a little bit different, a little bit, unfortunately, a little bit more complicated. If you wanna send a URL encoded uh, request through a form uh, to a post API using Express, you need to do this little hack thing uh, to say express.url encoded and set extended to true. Uh, that's just a requirement. Uh, so you can access the arguments easily. Uh, why is this, am I missing one? Lovely, okay. 
Perfect. So now, uh, what do we want to do? So, so let's create a, the post API now. So I'm just going to copy this in here. Uh, do I have too many again? Okay, that's good. Um, and semicolon, of course. So we have a post API now. It's a slash bar path. And in order for us to get the arguments that are passed into the API, so you know you're passing stuff into a post API, we're going to say var body is equal to request dot body, and then um, I'm going to pass in the key foo, and that's going to have a, a value of some kind in the request itself, and then we're just going to console log that, and then we can actually return that as well. Uh, so let's just say res dot send. Um, what is it? Rec dot body dot foo. Rec dot body dot foo. Uh, so we're going to pass in something and we're going to get it back in the response. So let's go and make that happen. I'm uh, going to kill the app down here. Do node.js or node index.js again. Let's go back to postman. Uh, so we're going to change this to post. And we are now hitting the bar path, right? Um, and what else do we need to do? Let me scroll around here. So. Uh, headers, body, there we go, form encoded. Um, so now we can add a key here that we wanna pass in as argument. So I'm gonna say, um, what did I say? Well, I wanted the key to be foo and the value can be whatever we want. Let's just say apple one, two, three, just so that it's clear that um, this is being modified that way. So we just called it by clicking send and now you can see we get apple one, two, three back. So it's successfully hitting the backend server. So that's how you create a very quick REST API. So let's go into now how you would do this using Docker and it's very, very straightforward and simple. Uh, so let me show you how to do this. Um, so we're gonna go and create a new Docker file. So we're gonna say Docker file. And I have some code here or Docker file template already created. So let me just create this and paste this rather and show you what I am doing. Uh, so we're saying from node use the latest, we're gonna make a directory that's gonna be user source app. Uh, we're gonna set that to our work direct directory. We're gonna copy over package.json to that directory. We're gonna run npm install. We're gonna copy everything here over to that app. We're gonna expose port 3000 and then we're gonna run npm start. And if you recall npm start, if we go back to our package.json, just runs node index.js. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and build the Docker image and then uh, launch the application using Docker as opposed to just using our machine as the host. Uh, so down to the terminal now, and let's go ahead and build the image by saying docker uh, build-t, and then you can call this whatever you want. I'm calling mine uh, my app and telling it it's the local directory where the Docker file is, which is right here. Uh, so we can see that the image was successfully built. Um, so now we need to actually run the uh, container and we need to say docker run uh, dash dash publish and we want to say uh, port 3000 on the local is going to be equal to port 3000 on the docker container so a uh, local host to docker container port mapping and we're just going to say run my app. Uh, so we should see here, yep, so everything is started up successfully. We're listing on port 3000 again. Let's go back over to Postman, click on send, and we see again that we're hitting the back end. Everything is working perfectly. Um, so that's how you build a REST API using Node.js and Docker. Uh, if you wanna do this in a serverless way without using any compute resources on AWS, uh, check out the video on the right here. It's for my tutorial video on building a REST API using uh, API Gateway and Lambda on AWS. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.